So platelets, you know, it functions, it's an egg nucleofragment and it functions in the formation of platelet plug. It is a temporary hemostatic plug. So what happens when there is abnormality in platelets? So you can find two conditions which can be categorized under this heading. So one is thrombocytopenic purpura, another is von Willebrand disease. So these are the two disorders which is usually as one is thrombocytopenic purpura and another is von Willebrand disease. Thrombocytopenic purpura. Thrombocytopenia means decrease in platelet count. When there is decrease in platelet count, there is purpura. Purpura is the blood clot which is seen on the skin. You see reddish blue dots on the skin and the mucous membrane. So they are called as thrombocytopenic purpura. We will see a case on this. Von Willebrand disease is because of the deficiency of von Willebrand factor. Okay, so the person has no von Willebrand factor. Now, why is von Willebrand factor needed? Von Willebrand factor is needed for the formation of platelet plug. So, once the platelets are activated, this von Willebrand factor is needed for the platelet to bind to the collagen as well as with one another and form that platelet plug. So, when this von Willebrand factor is not there, though the person has normal platelet count, there is no platelet plug formation. So, how do you analyze these two? How do you differentiate these two? So, in thrombocytopenic purpura, the platelet count will be decreased. Okay, platelet count will be decreased and bleeding time time is increased okay whereas in von Willebrand disease what is happening is platelet count is normal whereas bleeding time bleeding time is increased okay in both these condition bleeding time is increased but in von Willebrand disease the platelet count is normal whereas in thrombocytopenic purpura the platelet count is reduced now any case you get you should analyze in this manner okay a 10 year old boy develop sudden onset of nasal bleeding and develop purpura on the buccal mucosa he also gave a history of increased bleeding from minor cuts and wounds his platelet count is around 45,000 cells per mm cube of blood and the bleeding time was 15 minutes. So this is the value you get. So now you have to analyze. Now what is it? Is, it, is his platelet count normal? So what is the normal platelet count? The normal platelet count is between 1.5 to 4.5 lakhs per mm cube of blood. This is the normal platelet count. Now here the platelet count is just 45,000. So the platelet count is abnormal. Now bleeding time, normal bleeding time is 1 to 6 minutes. Here the bleeding time is 15 minutes. So again the bleeding time is prolonged. So again it is abnormal. In this case they have given also the clotting time. The clotting time normal is 2 to 8 minutes. Okay. So here the clotting time is 4 minutes. Okay, so which means the clotting time is normal. This is 15 minutes. So this is abnormal, this is normal. So clotting time is normal here. With normal clotting time, prolonged bleeding time. Okay, and there is purpura. So how do you categorize this? Now, since the platelet count is low, platelet count is just 45,000 cells per mm cube. So so think of this whether it is thrombocytopenia or von Willebrand disease. Now there are other clotting factor deficiency also. If there is a deficiency of clotting factor then the clotting time will be generally prolonged but the clotting time here is normal which means there is no deficiency of clotting factor. So it is all to do with platelets. Now we have to differentiate whether this condition is thrombocytopenic purpura or von Willebrand disease. That is easy because the platelet count here is abnormal. So, since the platelet count is abnormal, it is definitely thrombocytopenic purpura. Suppose the platelet count was normal, then it would have been von Willebrand disease. Okay? So, this is how you analyze and try to answer.